<laughs> Hi family, Grace Sibe. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is uh, Couple Sonic. I'm the re I'm a regular host on Couple Sonic, the anchor woman. On Couple Sonic, we deal on relationship issue, marriage, singles and marriage, tips and nuggets, and tonics that makes marriage work. Yes, yeah, so when I say tonic, I mean a encapsulated positive word that's spices of a marriage, like word of wisdom, like nuggets that you, you you assimilate and you like apply it and it works for you makes your marriage revive and you know fresh you know the marriage needs to be kept fresh every day keep working on your marriage so you look as if it's new as if you just started yes you just started yes i want to wish all the women out there happy mother's day great women are powerful women are unique we are honorable people God so loved us so much that after he created the world and created man, it was as if man would function without a woman. But after some time, it was quite obvious that man could not function without the help and assistance of a woman. And the Bible begins to understand that God caused a deep sleep to fall on man. And that was when the first surgical operation was done on earth. And out of the rib of man, from inside man came a woman and that woman is blessed and the lord told him he said both of you go into the world and multiply so i want to wish you happy mother's day all the women out there all the singles out there single female out there whether you're married now or you're not married now it doesn't really matter you're a mother you know cnn says something that was particularly interesting to me cnn said the best word in the world is a mother and i quite agree is a mother a home without a mother it's like that home has no balance yes a woman bring beauty a woman bring completeness a woman bring uniqueness into a home a woman give man shape a woman give man beauty and honor and dignified when you see a man walk alone there's no much dignity but when a man walks with his wife there's so much dignity so happy mother's day mothers god bless you the praying mothers god bless you god bless you i thank you so much for always been there with, for me all my fans and family thank you so much and in celebration of this mother's day i want to drop 10 couple tonic yes this tonic take them one each day apply them the most one that affects you relates to you like in my first book i did blissful marriage towards the end of that uh, book the last chapter actually i gave like 31 couple tonic i said each day take a dose of a tonic to revitalize your marriage, to revive your marriage, to bring that freshness back to your marriage. So today I'll be sharing 10 of such couples tonic. And I want to keep my viewers and my readers, you know, glued to my channel. And I, I told my readers that very soon I'm going to do a complete book on couples tonic and it's going to carry 365 couples tonic, valid one, that you take each day, you go, they just open the book, take one tonic, it will definitely affect your marriage positively. Thank you and stay glued to my channel. God bless you so much. God has been blessed us in this channel and God has been parting us and we are growing. And always don't fail to visit my channel, Grace Igwe. There are so many wonderful videos I've dropped that will bless your life. All right, the first tonic today is couples should pray together. Yes, don't neglect the family altar. When you come in into the marriage union, See, the devil is after the marriage. Devil is after marriage. Devil is after the home. So don't just say I'm married now. Everything is okay. I think they said I will not marry. Maybe especially the women. Now I'm married. Yes. No, it doesn't end there. That's actually when the work starts. A prayerful family can withstand any temptation. In fact, when temptation comes, I'm not saying it will not come. Temptation will come. Trials will come. But because you are well equipped by being a man, a woman of prayer, a family that prays, I'm telling you, you can conquer that challenge. A, a popular jingle, well, let's say a popular word of saying, says a family that prays together stays together. They stay strong together. So do not neglect the family altar. Make that time to pray with your family. As a whole family, if you have children, call them together, pray with them. Also, have a special time you pray with your wife. 
apart from the children, the children are not be there. It, it, it's the time for communication, the time for heart to heart talk. And after after the talk and interaction, you, you share your views, you share your aspiration, you share your vision, you share how you're meeting up with your vision and aspiration and the areas I need prayer. You pray. You, you even share your struggles in that relationship where you're not fitting it together, where there's friction. That's couple number one. Couple tonic number one. Now, couple talk, tonic number two. See, when people tell you to your face that they prefer your spouse to you, indirect, what they are telling you is that they have discovered that both you and your wife, there is no bond. It is very wrong for someone to come to you and say, in fact, between you and your wife, I prefer you, Jerry. I prefer you, Jerry. I prefer you more than your wife. I prefer you more than your husband. Quietly tell the person that you and your wife are same. You are one. You can't be separated. Don't welcome it. Don't allow it to go into your head. Don't become, maybe, you're like, are you appreciating if people prefer you to your wife or people prefer you to your husband? What they are telling indirectly is that they are noticing a crack between you and your wife. And that's why they can come boldly to your presence and do that gossip. In fact, I call it gossip. When the person tells you, I prefer you to your wife, especially, I prefer you to your wife. In fact, you're more accommodating, you're more accessible than your wife. I'm telling you, it's a little gossip that is not going to pay that marriage. Quietly tell them strongly that nobody can separate you and your wife. Your, you and your wife are different in character, in nature. But it doesn't, that, that doesn't make anyone of you less than each other. So do not allow anybody to come in and tell you that. That they prefer you to your spouse. You are one. Nobody should separate you. And make them to know that you are one. Now, if you marry couple, uh, couple tonic number three, if you married your spouse for the wrong reason, maybe for materialistic reason, it is time for you to repent. Love is important. A lot of, a lot of girls goes out there to marry not for love, but for materialistic purposes. But what I'm telling you is that if things change in that marriage, that marriage is going to have a serious issue. So it's time for you to repent. It's time for you to start loving your spouse. Love them for who they are, not for what they have. What they have can fly off. What they have can disappear one day. Money has wings. It can fly. It can, the, the money can fly away from that marriage. Things can happen. Figure can change. Body shape can change. You know? Don't marry because of beauty. And even if you marry because of beauty, marry because of money, and now you're married and you're seeing what marriage is all about, it's time to repent. And love your spouse and love your husband and love your wife. Now, tonic number four. One of the greatest healer of all wound is time. No matter the pain afflicted, no matter the hurts you encounter in marriage, it could be the issue of mistrust, infidelity. Please, time is the greatest healer. Don't say, I can never take it. I can't forgive him. This one is a height of feet. I can't take it. I've been taking all those shits all these years. Let me tell you, going to the next marriage, nothing guarantees you that the next marriage is succeed. It's better. Some, some people will tell you the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Well, another person will tell you a better turn is worth 10. That is beckoning you. Hey, baby, come out. Come out of that marriage. That man doesn't deserve you. You're so beautiful. How can you marry a man like that? He doesn't even know your words. Forget it. They are deceiving you. Stay glued to who you, God has given you. Even if there are issues, time heals on wound. My late father will keep saying something. He said, he said, uh, 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 he said time will tell. Yes, time will tell. That wound that I said is so painful. Anytime I remember it, I feel like crying. I feel like packing up the marriage. I feel like killing somebody. Time will heal that wound. Time will heal that wound. Now, a uh, couple tonic number five. He said, the greatest companion of a man, the greatest need of a man is companionship. You and your wife should form a bond. See each other as friends, not as a person you're competing with. Value your God-given mates. They are the ones that can take all the shit, the mess, that nobody else can take. That's the truth. I'm the only one that can take the shit my husband is giving me. I'm the only, uh, my husband is the only one that can take the shit I'm giving him or the mess I'm giving him. In fact, when the children are all gone, maybe they've gone to university or they have gone to their own home, they are married, it's not left for me and my husband. In fact, it's when you, you know that companionship is important. If you have not formed a bond with your husband, it will show them. You see that you cannot even stand each other. So it is time for you to start bonding. Your husband is your friend. Yes, he's your friend. He's your husband. He's your lover. But most importantly, he's your friend. Treat him like a friend. Your husband, treat your wife like a friend. Like a confidant. Share things with her. Even if it's difficult, share it. Even if you're not doing it before, because you're listening to me today. On this special Mother's Day, this is my package for you. Please, start sharing things with your spouse. 
even if you're not you're like I, I, i'm not used to it start it start it today share things with them share your heart desire your aspiration your secret share things with them it makes the marriage it made it made both of you to bond together that's the truth then tonic number six the devil is after every godly home jealously guide your home and vow to make it work at all costs yes fight for your marriage is what fighting for and the grace of god is abundantly there love even when it seems impossible yes love when it is so impossible so difficult and unfair to love you feel i'm cheated it's so unfair it's so unfair so difficult love the bible says love conquers all love conquers all love your spouse love them that's your that's god's greatest gift to you don't look at the physics physique look at the person the real content of that person say, say study your spouse you begin to discover things that make you love them more then tonic number seven when your spouse does not dress the way you like or carry himself the way you like you it is you it's your duty as a woman to dress up your spouse your husband it is you as a man your duty as a man to help your wife look better let her dress decently and not offend god dress decently decency is important as a man as a woman whatever your dream must be decent yes must be decent so if you don't like the way your husband dress or the way your wife dress dress them well sometimes my husband is going and i say where are you going he tells me the extent where he's going i say no you can't go you can't go with this you can't wear this and he changes sometimes to have had reason to dress and he tells me i don't like this what you're wearing can you do this can you do that you know it's start picking clothes for me same thing goes for you dress each other now one of the earliest killers of marriage is over familiarity don't get to a point where your husband does not wow you or your wife does not wow you that is tonic number eight don't get over familiar with your spouse remember the dream girl remember that dream man that man that you cannot sleep without calling them without talking to them yes now i've heard of us i cannot sleep very very important tonic number nine in a healthy marriage your best friend is your spouse and your children yes when the children have come then when the children have not come your best friend your best friend is your wife is your husband and your children every other person is a crowd every other person is third party yes don't place a man where you ought to place your husband alone don't give a loyalty that your husband demand or your wife demands another person in fact it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's an emotional infidelity then lastly tonic number 10 he said the love love is not only physical or romantic love is the acceptance of what it is what it has been what it will be and what will never be accept what you have seen love what you have seen love is all about what it is what it is not what it has been what will never be in your marriage accept it with your standing that god has given you the best you know life is not all about how to survive the storm but life is is how to dance in the storm that's what life is all about it's not all about how to survive the storm how do i survive the storm no it's dancing even in the midst of storm that makes you a strong person that makes you a strong man a strong woman so please all the tonics are all these tonics are just uh, listed and explain briefly they are very very important no one is more important than the other this is just a little from my couple tonic the book the, the main book will be coming out very soon where i have 365 tonics for each day you take one tonic to refresh your marriage revive your marriage and revive it like i keep saying like a song is the marriage that you work on that works the one that you don't work on doesn't work thank you so much for listening to me thank you for coming to my channel to check up on me thank you for being there without you there's no me don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share this special perhaps modern sunday video send it to your friends send it to your loved ones Tell it to your, your, your friends out there and tell them happy Mother's Day with this video. God bless you. Thank you so much. What to make happen for me, God will make happen for you. I pray for you. Whatever you're doing, you will succeed. Are you a mother? God will make you to be the best mom in the world. The best wife to your husband and the best mother to your children. And make sure you're a praying mother. A praying mother can survive most of the storm that comes in a marriage. Thank you so much for listening to me. God bless you. Be good.
Until we meet again next time, stay blessed. Thank you.